last six to 12 months, you've probably noticed that the car market is absolutely insane. In fact, car prices are at a level that they've never been at before. New cars are extremely difficult to find, and if you're lucky enough to find a new car that you actually wanna buy, there is almost a guarantee that you will not be able to get any sort of discount on that vehicle. Used cars are extremely competitive, they're appreciating like crazy, and in some cases, used cars are more expensive today in 2021 than they were when they were originally released as new year models. This has, of course, made it extremely difficult for anybody who wants to buy a car, whether it be for a Turo fleet, for a side hustle, for personal use, whatever the case is. And unfortunately, in this video, I have some bad news to talk about because it looks like the car market has really gone from bad to worse, and it doesn't look like this insane car market is going to let up anytime soon. So in this video, what I want to discuss is I want to talk about the current status of both the used and new car markets as of today in October of 2021. I also want to talk about what trends we can look out for and what my predictions are going to be for the next six to 12 months. So if you're somebody who is interested in buying a vehicle, then this is a must watch for you. So let's get started. Now, before we begin, if you guys could do me a huge favor and if you could hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. That helps YouTube know that you guys are enjoying my content and thus it pushes my content out to a new audience, helping me grow my channel. If you could do that, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, let's just dig right into it because we have a lot to discuss in this video. Now, you guys have probably noticed over the last six to 12 months that the car market has been insane. If you've driven past dealerships, you've noticed that lots are pretty empty, you've noticed that car prices are more expensive than ever. And if you've ever scrolled through services like cars.com, Auto Trader, Facebook, or Craigslist, you've noticed that even used old rundown cars are becoming extremely, extremely expensive to buy. Now let's first talk about some of the numbers associated with the current market today in 2021. Now the average cost of a new vehicle today is $45,000, which is a substantial amount of money. In fact, over the last nine months alone, the average price for a new car has risen by $5,000 and it's gone from costing $40,000 to costing $45,000 in a really short amount of time. Now when it comes down to it, there are a few different reasons as to why we've seen such a substantial increase in the cost for a new and used car. And the first reason is due to a chip shortage as well as just a supply chain shortage all the way around. Now you guys have probably heard me talk about the chip shortage as well as other YouTubers and other news outlets as well. But there is currently a chip shortage that is affecting millions and millions of people around the entire world. Now whenever it comes to the electronics and the tools that we use in our day-to-day -day life, in many of these products there is a chip embedded in them that helps these products function. Our computers have a chip, our iPhones, our tablets, our electronics have chips, but our vehicles also have these chips as well. And without these chips, vehicles cannot finish being produced. And in the case of the automotive industry, there is a massive, massive shortage on these chips that vehicle manufacturers need in order to produce their vehicles. This chip shortage alone is going to cost the automotive industry over $210 billion in 2021. And it's causing a huge bottlenecking issue in the automotive manufacturing process that is prohibiting vehicles from being released to the public. Not only the chip shortage, but there's other shortages that are also affecting the supply chain as well, including rubber shortages, including labor shortages, and more. And because of these shortages, many manufacturers are already delaying many of their new vehicles, as well as their new features that they were hoping would come out in 2021 and 2022. For example, Volkswagen recently announced that they would be pushing back their electric vehicle timelines due to these supply chain issues, and Cadillac announced that they would be postponing the release of their autopilot-like feature that was supposed to be featured in the Cadillac Escalade. These are just two examples, but there are many vehicle manufacturers that are having to take steps to deal with the fact that there is such a severe supply chain crisis. But supply chain issues and chip shortages are not the only thing affecting the vehicle market. In fact, inflation is also taking a huge toll on vehicle prices as well. In fact, according to recent data, the U.S. Consumer Price Index rose 5.4% from September of 2020 to September of 2021. This is the single greatest increase that we've seen in inflation in 13 years. Inflation paired with the supply chain issue, paired with the labor shortages, paired with the ripple effects that COVID-19 has caused, have of course created this perfect storm that is affecting the automotive industry in a massive, massive way. And this effect is trickling down to the consumer whenever it comes to the price of buying both new and used vehicles. Now, as I stated a few moments ago in this video, the average price for a new car in the US is $45,000, which is 
the highest that it's ever been. This paired with the fact that there is a very low inventory of new cars and that production for new cars is getting slashed on a near monthly basis means that right now in October of 2021 is probably the worst time to buy a new car. The fact is, is that there simply are not that many cars to choose from. The ones that are at dealership lots are probably not the one that you would want to buy. And so you're typically going to have to settle on the vehicle that you want to purchase. And your negotiating power has essentially been thrown out the window because the fact is there is not enough supply to meet demand. And because of that, a dealership has no incentive to give you a discount. All of these indicators and more point to the fact that it is a horrible time to buy a new car today in October of 2021. And if you're able to, I would highly encourage you to wait until the bottlenecking issue has been solved, the chip shortages has at least been resolved a little bit, and that way you'll be in a much better position to buy and negotiate on a new vehicle purchase later on down the road. But the fact is the new car market only makes up about half of the entire car market. So what about used cars? How do used cars look to today in 2021. And the unfortunate reality is, is that they don't look much better. The fact is, is that the manufacturing issues that car companies are experiencing right now has created a very real ripple effect that is carried down into the used car market. If there is less supply in the new car market, that supply and demand issue is slowly going to trickle down because of the fact that if somebody can't find the new car that they want to buy, they oftentimes will settle on a used car, which means that there is less used cars to go around to the general public. If we look at the Car Gurus Index, you can see the historical data for some of the major car manufacturing brands. And you can see that though there isn't the sharp increase that we saw over the summer or in spring of this year, you can see that the prices are not declining either. They're sort of flatlining, if not having a slight increase month over month. In fact, if we look deeper in the data, you can see that many car manufacturers are still seeing a pretty substantial increase month over month. For example, Acura saw a 1.83% increase, Audi saw a 1.31%, Ford saw an increase of 0.83%, which is one of the lowest that we've seen with Ford this year. You can see Honda has had an increase of 2.57, and the trend continues from vehicle manufacturer to vehicle manufacturer. In fact, by looking at car gurus, you can see that there are only a handful of examples of car manufacturers that actually saw a decline in the last 30 to 90 days. But car gurus isn't the only only resource out there. In fact, Mannheim is another great resource that can give you some data and some insight into the new and used car market. In fact, you can see here, according to this Mannheim index chart, that vehicle values are still appreciating like crazy, which means that even with used cars, it probably isn't the best time to buy. Now, the reason why I present all of this data is to really drive home the fact that this looks as though these trends are going to unfortunately continue. The appreciation that we've seen in both the new and the used car market is something that isn't going to end anytime soon. My initial hope was that in Q1 of 2022, we would start to see the dust settle. But as of right now, according to trends data and what experts are predicting, it doesn't look like the dust is going to settle until 2023. Now, ultimately what this means is that if you're somebody who is in the market to buy a car, whether it's for personal use, a side hustle, a business, in order to grow a fleet, whatever the case is, you can still buy a car and you can still find cars for good deals, but you absolutely have to be more strategic with your purchases in order to ensure that you're not overpaying for a car. Right now requires more planning than ever in order to make a really good vehicle purchase. And if you buy a vehicle impulsively, and if you don't do your due diligence, and you are unfortunately setting yourself up to lose a lot of money. Now I have made a lot of videos on this topic. I will include a handful of those videos down in the description below, but whenever it comes to buying cars below market value, I do have some good tips for you. Now, number one is I would encourage you to look at Craigslist and Facebook marketplace. Now these are oftentimes the least professional platforms to deal with, but they are where you can find the good deals. You aren't going to find those amazing deals from a dealership, whether a small dealership or a large mainstream one. Where the good deals lie are on Facebook and Craigslist, and typically you have to search quite a while before you find one. Tip number two is know exactly what vehicle you're looking for. You should have an exact understanding of what type of car you're looking for, what color, what trim, what mileage, what year model, what condition, what price. You should know every single detail of the car that you're wanting to buy. And most importantly, you should know what the fair value of that vehicle is. Once you know all of this data, you know what a good deal is whenever you see it. And if you're looking at Facebook and if you look at Craigslist and you find the car that you're looking for at the right price, then you're going to be in a position to really 
really jump on that deal and take advantage of that when it presents itself to you. And tip number three is to be patient. The fact of the matter is buying cars below market value is a really tough task. If it wasn't tough, then everybody would do it. You have to be patient. You have to be willing to wait it out. You have to be willing to jump on the deals once they're in front of you. And until those deals present themselves, you simply should not settle and buy a car at a higher value price. Over the last six months, I've purchased a ton of cars. I've purchased Mazdas, Hondas, a Maserati, Toyotas, and I've never paid above market value on these cars. And really the reason why I think I've been able to do this so successfully is simply because I do my research and I am very patient with the cars that I buy. I am never in a rush to make a vehicle purchase because once you start rushing, that's when you start making mistakes. The fact of the matter is 2021 is not the time to buy a car. But the other fact is, is that there are some cases in which you have to buy a new car, maybe for your business, for your fleet, for personal use. And if you're somebody that needs to buy a vehicle or multiple vehicles, then I encourage you to take up the advice that I talked about in this video. The fact is cars are appreciating, car values are insane, and the car market has no signs of slowing down anytime soon, but you absolutely can find deals. You just have to be patient. Like always, you guys, if you have any questions, comments, if you have anything to add, I would love to hear it. So make sure to leave a comment down below. And while you guys are at it, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.